So I'm rebranding my company right now, and it's being rebranded to something completely different. And I want to talk a little bit about how you go about starting a business and how you can kind of like fake it to make it. I think one of the biggest like misconceptions a lot of us have is everyone's got it figured out. So especially when you're younger, you think that everyone like knows what they're supposed to be doing. Like, oh God, that guy's like a doctor or a Harvard professor or whatever. And you think that they have everything figured out. And I guarantee you that's not true at all. Most of us go through life not knowing what we're doing. So I don't really reveal my age, but I am a little bit older. And thankfully I age like decently. So I look somewhat okay. But a lot of times, at least when I was younger, I thought that everyone had everything figured out. It's like even seeing your parents or whatever or not knowing anything a part of life is you think that everybody has everything figured out, but they don't. And once you start changing this mindset that nobody knows what they're exactly doing, you start to realize that society is kind of built on something that's not as like concrete, I guess. It's built on people just trying to do their best and getting by. What we think about when we think about people knowing what they're doing is just a skill like for example if you're a plumber or you're a lawyer it's just something that you've done over and over again but you have to realize that even within like doctors or professionals there's still like layers like somebody who's in a family practice that you go see all the time is completely different than somebody that specializes in like a surgical profession so not everybody has it figured out not everyone can do everything And that's the thing I think that people don't really realize that everyone's not, everyone's not as like, I don't want to say great, but not everyone as is as like wonderful as we make them out to be. Maybe everyone's not as like, everyone doesn't have it together. And I think what you need to do is when you go through life, you need to realize that, hey, not everyone has it together. Not everyone knows what they're doing. Every one of us is going through life. I read a quote or heard a quote before is that, you know, you got to be a little bit more gentle on your parents because it's their first time around in life too. So a lot of times we think that they should have everything figured out, but they don't. It's because this is their first time going through it too. And I think when you have this mindset, you kind of stop fearing like making mistakes and everything because a lot of times when we are afraid of making mistakes or afraid of doing something, the reason we're afraid of it is because we're not sure we're uncertain of ourselves but if we kind of have this mindset that like everyone's not sure it kind of takes away the pressure so how does that go to you if you're starting a business the first thing i would do is i would realize that you have to kind of fake it till you make it you know is you're going to be having to learn like it's just like any other job even if you're a ceo even if you're whatever you're kind of faking all your things until you learn exactly what uh what it is you need to be doing And there's a lot of hats to wear, but the most important thing is allocating things to a team. You want people who are passionate about what you do and your vision, and you want people who actually care about your thing. Now, for me, I'm starting something new, but if I were to start, and I can't really get into what it is, but what I'm doing is I found some business partner, I found a business partner who actually cares about it, and they're like a managerial role, so I put them there, because they actually believe in what I believe, and I'm trying to find a team that fits that role. So think of it like either in the anime One Piece or Avengers or whatever you're into, just like whatever team you think of when you think of like the perfect team, the A team, whatever. Think of them. Think of like such an, a great group of people. That's who you want to find. You want your Avengers. You want your whatever. You want people to be your like ride or die. You want people to be there for you. That's what business is. It's ride or die. It's almost like having a gang, you know? It's like you want people to be believing that. And your role as the main person in that, like a gang or in that whatever, is you have to get people to believe your vision. And one thing that I've heard time and time again is, like what goes with the fake it till you make it, is sell like a con man. You have to sell as if you are a confidence man, con man. And the reason for this is because if you think about it, and one of my mentors told me this, is that a con man is selling something is actually selling nothing so a con man is selling nothing you are actually selling something so if somebody who is selling absolutely nothing has this much confidence shouldn't you have triple the confidence quadruple the confidence because you're actually offering something and a lot of times we undervalue ourselves and when we do that that's when we think that 
we're not worth it. And that's why we undersell ourselves. But this is exactly why I charge high ticket prices, meaning I charge like 5, 10K, something really big. The reason for this is because the money that comes in is based off of value. A lot of times we think that people are not going to pay this, people are not going to want this, people are not going to whatever. Like a great example of this is 500 banks said no to Starbucks. And I told if I told you to invest in Starbucks right now, you would have, of course, because you know what it's going to be. But that's what you have to believe. You have to believe that you're building the next Starbucks, next Target, next whatever. And you have to go with it as if somebody's asking you to build that company. So the logo has to be on point. Like when you go to Target, it's not like one Target's completely blue and the other one's like pink and it has like a square symbol on it. It's all uniform. So that's the way you have to build a company. The good news is, is we're at a time when there's so much automation. I've been using a lot of automation lately. So I use Slack, for example, to like communicate with my team. And then I use, uh, I schedule Zoom for Zoom meetings because right now I'm trying to find some closers. I'm trying to find people who are um, good at closing. Um, the market I'm going in right now is, is a real estate market. Um, and I'm finding people and individuals who are very uh, confident about that, who are interested in that. But essentially the idea is, and I'll get a little bit more into it, but it's basically us helping um, people get into coaching, getting into like coaching. So if you're watching this and you're like, you do real estate or any other profession, because we're starting with real estate right now and then we're going to expand out. And if you do any, if you have any profession where you're kind of a leader or you have like experience in it, our goal is to have you share that experience with other people so you can train the next generation, but also be able to kind of do that on autopilot where essentially we find the people for you. We find your clients, we find everything for you, and we train you and make sure that you have everything situated to be able to do that. So it's really cool. It's, uh, excuse me, it's a cool business. I'm thinking about it. Um, I'm finished setting it up. Hopefully by next week it will be. I, I told you guys I'm not going to tell you much about it, but I basically told you what it is, but it's okay. Um, only because it's, it, see, like, it's my own security that, oh God, maybe I don't know exactly what I'm doing, but I do. You know, I, I have to believe in myself. You are the captain of a pirate ship and you have to sail that ship no matter what. So the best thing I would do right now is I would, if you have a dream, if you have a business that you believe in, Start in something that does not take any capital. Literally start in something that you can do for free. So a lot of times you see all these like internet gurus talking about like SMMA, social media management. You, they, you hear them talking about like make content creators rich. Like there's a hundred different things. Drop shipping, you know, there's so many different things. And technically you could make money off of any of those, but you just have to stick to it and not give up. But what they never tell you is all entrepreneurs have a graveyard of failures behind them. And nobody says that so for example i tried drop shipping i tried smma i tried freelancing i tried fiverr i tried so many different things and it didn't work out i tried art business i tried being an influencer i tried so many different things and it wasn't until i had the shift in mindset that and i met some people like some mentors or whatever and i realized that they were making bank charging premium prices it's because they valued themselves and they have a valuable skill set a lot of times we think that there's no way somebody's going to pay this but you have to value your time and be able to make an offer that nobody can refuse now the books that really changed my life i think i'll talk about this in the next uh in um the next video but i'll talk about some of the books that that helped change my life um because a lot of people say that and i thought that was dumb until i actually started reading these books and uh, some podcasts and stuff that really, really ended up changing my life. Um, I think we'll talk. We'll, we'll talk about that next, actually. So let's 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 do that. Let's do that next and circle back.